Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, I think that says pilot. It totally says the pilot. Excellent. You know what? We're gonna play as the pilot and I'm going to remember this time. Use the frickin' alternate starting gun, Abe. I'm gonna use the golden gun. Joe, hello. That might be Joe, that might be uh, Milk Jug on Joe's account. <laughs> One or the other. I need to start remembering to actually use all the alternate guns here. We got this golden laser pistol here. You know, weirdly enough, well, it's not weird, but, you know, in a lot of games, uh, you know, golden weapons, they're either extremely good because they're fancy, or they're extremely bad because the people who make the game or who made the gun or who made the sword realize, hey, wait a minute, gold is actually a horrible material to use for making a weapon. It's soft, it's malleable. And so you have a game like, what is the game that has the exquisite sword? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Uh, 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 um. Oh, what's the name of that card game? Yo, oh, Evolver is really good. Uh, the, 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 the one where you have to build a deck and you explore, and it's like a plot game, and it's all about the, uh, the, 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 the levels are named after the, the Zodiacs, um, Hand of Fate, Hand of Fate, there we go. It's like Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate has a weapon in the game called the Ceremonial Sword, or the Gold Sword, or whatever the hell it is, and it's a ma sword made out of gold, and it sucks, but you sell it for a lot of money, because that's what it's, it's there for. It's not there to be a good sword, it's there to be a, an expensive sword. But I got, and th th this whole joke is going somewhere, okay? <laughs> but the idea would be, actually, wouldn't gold make a really good laser weapon? Because gold is very conductive? Like, I could see a gold laser weapon actually being a good gun. Wow, you, that came out at a tight angle. Because gold would be good. Gold is good for electronics and stuff, right? So, weirdly enough, I think that gold would actually work well for a, uh, a gun on this, on this pilot man. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Alright, well now we have a snail gun. Can I drop this? I can, but I lose this, the, uh, plus one effect <laughs> of snail gun. Oh wow! Uh, I mean, look. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, oh, I'm not mean to fire anymore. I'm only mean to fire when I'm standing in the fire with fossilized gun. That seems very strange. <laughs> but dude, lichy eye bullets? My god, that is such a strong, strong item. We're, we're basically the gunslinger. I mean, we are the gunslinger. The gunslinger, he starts with a, a okay, I mean, it's actually a really good starting pistol. And then lichy eye bullets, we're the gunslinger. This is the first time I've ever picked up this item as a start. Actually, it's the first time I've ever picked up this item not on the Gunslinger, I think. Not even really starting with it as the pilot or as the, uh, the Paradox or anything. This is a, this is a good, good run. I'll just try to let this gun just kick the crap out of Trigger Twins here. Glitchy eye bullets immediately. I mean, it's like every synergy that we want, we can force now. Or gunny, we're gonna buy the crap out of that gun. Uh, regular shotgun, maybe we don't want the synergy for that because, you know, maybe we don't want the fact that it is a little bit less ammo efficient. Yari launcher, oh hell yeah. Laser rifle, oh my god, yes. God, it's gonna be good. Elephant gun, maybe no. Oh my god, it fires so fucking slowly. But we'll uh, we'll think about it. Sling, why not? I forget how it gets better with the synergy, but it seems pretty damn good. A few days ago, you started with Lichy bullets and flare gun as paradoxes Sanfu. That's got to be a pretty good start. Because flare gun, it turns it into like an like the synergies with that turn it into like an explosive gun. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Something seems wrong. <laughs> okay, when you evolve up, the tongue stays behind. That's kind of cool. Very strange, very unusual. It's not unusual. <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me. World Ender says he loves gold. I, I mean, gold's pretty good. I actually kind of wish that we didn't get the gun leveled up one extra point, because now, I mean, it's a good gun. Oh, no! <laughs> what? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I fired one snail shot, and then it leveled up to the the bat wing for okay you know what Gungeon's just gonna be a little weird today <laughs> I don't really know what's going on but this uh, this this gun is just really weird you know what we should definitely lock pick it what am I t what am I doing uh, and honestly I'm just gonna go down to the next floor you know what do we need more guns for or items Dude. First two chests have been absolutely incredible. I mean, the Evolver we got for free out of just a... a crappy old chest. I mean, it was a blue... just a random blue quality chest. It seemed pretty good. Wait, if we use... Mega Dowser, we're not immune to fire, but we spread fire, but we're not immune to the fire. How are we gonna do this? We probably want... I think we want Fossilized Gun... Elephant Gun, unfortunately. I, I don't like the Elephant Gun synergy because it fires so slowly, but I guess for the time being... It's still probably our best room-clearing gun. Until we get something better. Come on! <laughs> I'm just like spamming the fire button. It's like, come on, gun! Who's left? Who's left? Cactus black hole gun flare gun. Cactus with the um with Lichy Eye Bullets would probably be pretty good, because I think the Cactus does have some really, really, really good synergies, doesn't it? So if we could get it, I think we should try. I'm just gonna open up the chest. Let's make sure it's not a mimic. Box Cannon. This is now a room-clearing gun. This is like a room-clearing boss-killing gun, but I guess we do have the, uh... Evolver gun. Although it's de-evolving every once in a while. I never really understood that about the gun, that it de-evolves, but I guess we just need to kind of focus it a little bit more. We just need to make sure that we're, we're using it every once in a while so that if we do end up fighting a boss at some point, soonish, we will uh, have it ready to go. These guys stand no chance. And there they go. <laughs> Man, loot bag? Loot bag, I mean, loot bag is really good. And we can get it early, let's do it. Uh, I would definitely trade Curse for a random item. Shock Rifle is actually pretty good. With the synergies, that is. You know, the fact that you get a little bit of free ammo back is, is good too, but it's still a good gun. <laughs> I also like the uh, explosive wardrobe. I don't get the synergy with Pox Cannon that often, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I see you, Dan. I see you. Make sure to not get 360. Why? Why should I not get 360?
Does battery, I don't even think battery gun gets like a, a damage upgrade synergy. I think it's just kind of what it is. Mega Dowser is pretty bad with Lichy Eyes though. Yeah, it is. Boom. Boom. Explosion. I hope it has a big AOE because it's missing half the time. You know what? Let's use this for a while. Um. But yeah, you know, there's some synergies in the game that are just either bad, or they don't work with your play style, they don't work in your situation. You know, we're not immune to fire, so the Mega Dowser is pretty bad with the synergy, but it's also pretty bad anyways because it spreads ice. And you need heavy boots to not be able to slide around, the, uh, slide around on the ice. So it's a weird situation where you're kind of like, you need multiple different items to make that really kind of work for you. Mega Dowser, that is. So I, I, I really, ooh, nice. I really don't... Love that synergy, or those synergies, rather. How do I have so many guns you get like two before you die? <laughs> I mean, I, we've gotten really lucky on the lockpick so far. The lockpick has not failed us once. Hey, Viridi. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the cheer! Uh, we've gotten pretty lucky with the lockpick. And we've just gotten good drops for the most part. All right, let's see what boss we're gonna fight. We have the sling if we need it. Not like we do, because this is gonna be just fine. Evolver is still leveled up. He threw his minion into the hole! That's very rude of him. Oh my god! What? The, the Mega Dowser fires shots so quickly. Did you see that? Look at that. I'm on fire. That's extremely strange. <laughs> Dude, Combine Rifle is really good. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. Really, no synergies with Combined Rifle? That's a, that seems a little surprising to me, but I guess it's understandable. All right, more keys. No Mimics, no Mimics, no Mimics. I mean, I wanted Mimics, we just didn't get any. We, oh, what? Magnum turns it into this thing? We get the Plague Pistol as well? Lord Blobulus? I hope their training is up to your rigorous standards. To victory, 5th Regiment Quartermaster Blob. Can't complain at all about this run. Look at this. Nice big, big slow moving uh, plate pistol shots. There should be a synergy between the laser sight and the tiger gun where the tiger chases the red dot. <laughs> 18 cues, that is a wonderful idea. I love it. So we got this Magnum. I don't like that it sounds like a shotgun. If we reload, do we break? bullets or break enemies we break bullets really we can also fire as quickly as we can pull the trigger that seems like a pretty good combination it must be with like the uh, the huntsman the revolver and the huntsman or something uh i guess we're going to use plague pistol for a while With the synergies, it's actually a pretty good damage output. Is Apache Thunder's weird mod installed? Nope. Just mine. Just my own weird mod. <laughs> All right. We got a lot of guns, which I guess is good because we have Lich's eye bullets, but we're still waiting on that one true gun to rule them all, whatever the case may be. Which for me, I mean, it's probably the, it's probably Orgunny. 
Or Gunny is one of the strongest low quality guns with synergies. It really is. Minecutter. I have no idea. Op. Op we could... Apparently Op is really good for... Speedrunning, because you can theoretically get to a point where you're one-shotting all the enemies with it, or well, all the bosses, rather. So we could theoretically get the op. And then if we got one more damage upgrade on the run, we might get to the point where we are... Uh, one-shot killing everything. I would, I would give it a shot. I would. Ooh, I dodged in the wrong direction. I dodged in the wrong direction. I meant to dodge left instead I dodged to the right. And then I was like, where am I? <laughs> Actually, like, physically lost track of my, uh, my pilot. Well, what's the synergy with the mine cutter? Honestly, I don't know. Get op and then remote, remote bullets. That's the idea. I just need to have enough money. Or, like, some way of stealing. Yoink! Magnum is tap shooting even without the synergy. You know, I, I guess you're right. I just didn't think about it. I guess in my head I was thinking more of the the Huntsman, which is not because it's 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 weird because it sounds different. It sounds not like a revolver. It sounds like a shotgun. And I guess in my head I'm I'm mixing up a couple of different guns. Although I don't even know if it is the Huntsman that. Uh, turns the revolver into that. I I'm assuming it is because it sounds like a shotgun and it kind of lo looks like a Huntsman. It does similar things where you reload and it swings and, and breaks bullets. I did get hit. I got hit on the first floor. But we're going to get the op. We'll get remote bullets in a second. And in theory, we're if we're not one-hitting bosses, we're very close. So I'm, I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to do it. I'll try to get the glaive. But we need more money. We, we theoretically can get the money because of the fact that we have the loot bag, but we still need more money. More money! I think it's that one. Get Glaive, it's so good with Lichy Eye Bullets. I had to look it up the other day because I didn't, didn't know what its synergies were. And apparently the glaive with Lichy Eye Bullets, or one of its synergies rather, makes it hit all of the enemies in a room. We'll get a key for it. Uh, it makes it hit all the enemies in a room before it comes back, which means every enemy in a room is stunned. That's really good. It's a reusable boomerang that does a lot of damage. That seems phenomenal. <laughs> Well, thank you, Bound Hades, for the uh, the small bits, and uh, Veridi for the large cheer. I've been tricked. <laughs> or, you know, Veridi's been tricked. Oh no! Alright, so we should definitely get the damage upgrade in the form of remote bullets. Then, let's... We're actually not gonna have enough for a key, I don't think. We're gonna use the lockpick on the blue chest. We'll see if we can buy a key for the green chest. And we'll go from there. Dude, the lockpick has worked out basically every time. All right, so. Op. Evolver. We have to spin five times, then shoot. And theoretically, that's not enough damage to one-shot kill a boss, but the op apparently has... has a really good synergies that also increase its damage, and they're gonna stack with the 368 no-scope synergy itself. So, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's all you need, apparently. What do you think? <laughs> I 
All right, let's see what we have in the chest. We, we can actually look down because of the synergy here. Accuracy upgrade? Um, sure, why not? I don't think this also synergizes with the op because we already have the op synergy, but I'll buy it anyways, because why not? We got the money. Not enough for a key though, but that's okay. Because we're gonna get a lot of money on the next floor as well. Sweet! I know I have remote bullets, but I just, I just found it am amusing that it would uh, make the charm bow shots kind of just rotate very quickly. It's weird that the charm bow can even fire this fast. But anyways, I'm just going to use Plague Pistol Mine Cutter for the floor. We have a small damage upgrade. We're not one-shot killing bosses, but we are past the damage cap, which is why we were able to uh, kill Cannon Balrog in two hits. But apparently that's the speedrunning strat. In Gungeon right now, it's just start as Gunslinger and get op and then you win. Or start with Paradox and uh, start with the op. Please, please, please! This is what we want. We got it. No glaive. No! I couldn't afford it. We didn't have the money. I really wanted to get the op and I really wanted to get the uh, remote bullets. And, and I'm glad we got them. Oh, I gotta pick up the money now. No, I missed a coin. Where are you? Oh, you're in a table. <laughs> I was very confused for a minute there. Ah. Yeah, the synergy with the glaive and the boomerang makes it hit all the enemies in a room, and if it stuns all the enemies in a room, it does good damage, then. You know, basically room combat is completely trivialized to the point of, you know, you use five glaive shots to kill every enemy in every room over and over again. Which is fun, that sounds like a lot of fun, but I opted instead for the, uh, the potential boss killing amazingness of the op, and I am, I'm very glad I did. It's a little tricky to use because you have to do the, uh, rotations. But it's worth it, if you can make it happen. And we did. Damn it, we did! Uh oh. This is definitely not where I want to be. Unfortunately, we gotta kill all the spent before we can kill the frickin' mages. There we go. You feel like 360 S-Scope is broken on controller. So, uh, I actually do have something to say about that, which is not really anything personal, but I uh, I do know that people have complained about 360 S-Scope being um, difficult to use with a controller, and I think that Dodge Roll is trying to uh, fix it so that it actually works properly with controller. So, the, for instance, the 2.1.9 version of Gungeon, maybe it was 2.1.8, it has a small update, which theoretically makes it easier to use. So if you've been having problems with 360S scope, try it in the new update and see what happens, because it might be fixed now. Um, 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 um. Let's do it. Um, 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 um. Particulator. Yo! <laughs> I know what that synergizes with. That's pretty freaking good, if you ask me. That's a mimic. Particulator synergy is so good. Tetris synergy, I don't even remember what it is, but it should hopefully be pretty good. Tetris synergy, like or Tetris gun rather, I understand how it works. Every P 
piece you attach to the enemy makes it do more damage, and then the line piece makes it explode. I figured that out eventually. <laughs> Although it took a while. Yo, lots of chests. And again, the lockpick was successful. Good lord, the luck on this run is kind of ridiculous right now. Particulator, Particulator plus Laser Sight plus Oiled Cylinder is really good, and we have all of those. Bad dodge. Like, not even with the uh, Litchy Eye Bullets, we just have those items. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. By the way, let's buy the key. Open up the chest. Pew! Scouter. You know what? It's more damage. Now, let's see about one hit killing the boss. One. Did it actually just say one damage? One. <laughs> Apparently, this boss has uh, two HP. <laughs> One. Oh god, good lord. I'll take it. Coin Crown, more money. I wonder if Coin Crown synergizes with the loot bag to give us, you know, extra, extra money. We could do Mahogany. I don't think we need it. We have enough guns. We could take Singularity. I don't think we need it. This run is good enough on its own. What I will do, though, is we are gonna steal a... one of these. We'll steal the, uh... Frost Amulet. And we'll try to steal Uranium Amulet and it failed. Still, I'm happy. Op Worst Gun only does one damage. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm not gonna steal the Singularity. I wanted to get the, uh, the Guan Stone. Tetris Gun synergizes with Guan Stones. It makes them occasionally shoot Tetris pieces while shooting the Tetris Gun. I guess since we don't have any of the Guan Stones, it's not that useful, is it? What I like about using Tetris Gun and the uh, Scouter at the same time is that you can actually tell what the what the the whole deal with it is. You can actually see the damage. You can see that every time a line piece hits an enemy, it causes a lot of sixes to appear. <laughs> but I think we're just gonna wanna use Particulator. Because it is better. You can also see what all of the uh, damage is from, uh, from this gun. Main shot does 36. Little shots do three or four. The lasers do like seven. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot, it definitely stacks up. Oh, this is this is a good run. <laughs> Op is worse than the Clob. <laughs> Clob at least does one times nine hundred damage. At least, yeah. Can't argue with that, can you? Nothing here. I will say that is one uh, reason why I do like the uh, Tetris gun, is that it gives me an opportunity to say, LINE PEACE! What's that, is that? CollegeHumor.com. It's either College Humor or Funny or Die, but I think Funny or Die isn't actually funny, so it's probably College Humor. Because <laughs> they actually do skits as opposed to just, uh, you know, stealing content and putting it up on the internet. Hmm. Lock door. Well, we don't have a key. Let's save that for a little while. Hey. What? Brother Alburn, what the hell are you doing here? 
haven't seen you out of the breach in a long time. Or out of the uh, abbey, rather. Flame, flame hand. Decent, but actually not that, not that good with all of its synergies. And I stand by that. I really don't like the... Uh, really don't like the flame hand with the synergies that prevent it from piercing, because I really do like the piercing effect of it. And losing that kind of... It does matter a little bit, you know? It makes the gun lose a little bit of its efficacy. Alright, you know what? Damn particulator shots are not aiming correctly. <laughs> If it weren't the green flame, it would be the best gun in the current arsenal. But flame hand? Best gun in my current arsenal is freaking. Uh... Well, I mean, it's Particulator if the op wasn't one hit killing bosses. Because I, I do love the Particulator. A lot of people give Particulator crap. It's a good gun, you know? You don't have to shoot it constantly. You can shoot it and then switch to something else and just get the high damage out of it, but we can because of the oiled cylinder. We have very fast reloads. Mud loves the flame hand. I also really like the flame hand. One damage. <laughs> oh, I love it. We have three keys. There's one, two, Three things on the floor that require keys. I guess we're gonna hold off on opening this for a little while. If I can get one more key, we can open everything. And you know, why uh, risk not being able to open everything when we can just wait a little bit? Mm, sure. We just wait a little bit longer. We'll have that chance to open up everything. Dude, I love the lasers out of the Particulator. It's such good damage output. Just like that little bit extra just kind of puts the Particulator over the top. We also have a lot of money, good lord. You are a Mimic, which means that you are going to get frozen. And you know what? 247, I missed a few of them. <laughs> Ooh, this actually looks like a pretty awesome gun. Look at that! If every shot from this lands, oh my lord. This might be better than the Particulator at room killing. Well, maybe not. Could be. Could be. Would be. The auto homing shots and the lasers combined from the Particulator, I guess probably give it the edge. Let's go back. Wow, three keys. Well, I guess we can buy them. Uh, chamber Gun. Chamber Gun does not work with Lichy Eye Bullets. What a shame. And here I was thinking that the uh, developers thought of everything. I guess they missed something. <laughs> All right, there's plenty of keys. Uh, one, two, we have three already, so it doesn't matter. Virux the Weeb. Hey, thank you for the resub for two months. I appreciate it. Okay, um, Unity, so that's more damage. There's the actual chest room. Honestly, I might as well just take the freaking ammo. We'll see what he gives us. Hello? He gave us Grey Mauser. We could steal if we want to. We don't care. So I guess what we're gonna do is buy a key, a couple more keys, just in case we get chests on the next floor. Open up the blue chest, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Fight the dragon and do one damage. Katana bullets. I'll take it. Let's see. You think I should, do you think you should try to stay awake for 72 hours? Probably not. 
That seems like a pretty horrible idea, <laughs> if you ask me. All right, let's do it. Take the grenade launcher. Why? Don't need it. Hold up. There we go. One. Two. Three. Dragon, oh, he's a tough boss. He has three HP. Man, the explosive decoy isn't as good as the regular one, I think. <laughs> All right, how, how much HP do you think the heart has? One. <laughs> one plus a katana. <laughs> you wanna know if Abe is short for Abigail? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Should we gun munch? Let's gun munch, why not? What else are we doing with our money? And our guns? Maybe we'll get really lucky. I mean, let's be honest, we only need two guns. So let's get rid of a gun like the Charmed Bow. Let's get rid of the Grey Mauser, because it is A tier. Abraham Lincoln. I do declare that this is the best run of Gungeon ever. Meow. Full score, and 35 minutes ago, I started this run of Gungeon and picked up Lichy Eye Bullets. Dodge roll so slowly in this area. <laughs> yeah, we don't need the grenade launcher. I, I forget what the grenade launcher synergy is, but. Let's be honest. Do we need it? Heck no! All we need is. All we need is chamber gun. You got it! Two. This gun is so powerful that sometimes it deals two damage. <laughs> From a beam, it's weird, but that's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> what about uh, what about lava gun? I highly doubt it does two. Wait, katana bullets works with beams? You know, now that I now that I think about it, I think I, I did notice them mentioning that in one of the patch notes at one point. All right, let's go back to uh, let's see what the proton backpack does. I mean, I know that it makes enemies out of the enemies that we we kill with it, but is it doing a lot of damage? Feels like it. Sometimes it is doing two. Actually, the katana bullets coming out of the beams are actually like unbelievably powerful and extremely common. Like, it seems like nearly every enemy is getting killed from a katana bullet. <sighs> I mean, the ammo's not gonna last that long, but that's still, that's still fine. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's a couple, and there's one. Ah, you know, shoot him. I like the sound effect, sound effect of the katana bullets. Well. Oh God! No, 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 no! Get, get oh, what? There we go. <laughs> Just wanted him to get into the into the pit. Send him back to the pit. All right, particulator. Let's go back to you for a little while, because you're you're my bread and butter right now. You're the thing that's gonna keep me alive in this madness. Is 
that enemy not jam? I don't think this is how it works, but I think it would be kind of cool if the katana bullets had a chance to come out of these rotating bullets out of the particulator, but I highly doubt that's the case. Uh, what the heck are we gonna use? Evolver is still maximum level. Shock rifle. Combined rifle. I guess we can aim it. Something, something to be said for that. Dog roll, please nerf chain gun. It's too hard to get. <laughs> all you need is chamber gun and then be on this floor and then all of a sudden you got this. Oh my god, it's so unbelievably powerful. Oh god, it's lagging the game out too. I mean, it's one of the strongest guns in the game. It's it's stupidly overpowered. Um, let's see, let's go back to Magnum for a little while. I'm liking it. Um, I don't know. Line cutter? I'm in this weird situation where I have so many good room clearing guns that are powerful. I don't know what to what to use. <laughs> Which powerful room clearing gun should we use today? On this room it's the particulator. On this room it's the mine cutter. On this room it's the chain gun. What about Tetris gun? Well, not really. Not as much. Line piece. Line piece! Even with the line piece, though, it doesn't do that much damage. You know what? You want to know what it is? I think maybe we're not getting the damage upgrade from the explosive shots out of the... out of the Tetris gun. So the pieces that explode from the line piece, they're only doing six damage, and they always do six damage. Maybe that's what's going on there. I don't know. But in any case, let's finish this. Let's finish this. Two HP Lich? Man, it's just not good enough. How come we got no charge on the explosive decoy? Do you not get a charge when you're over the damage cap? Give myself 20 duct tape and use them all. <laughs> Don't need to. Hacks. <laughs> we're hacking up the Lich. Well, that would be if we were using the uh, revolver gun, I guess. Yeah, I guess if you're doing, you know, that much damage, you actually just don't get the uh, effect of charging up your active items. Weird. Be the first man to defeat the li entire Lich in eight shots or less. I've done it before. Charge shot has done it in three shots, one per phase. I've done it. It's the first time I've ever done it with the op and lichy eye bullets, though. That was incredibly powerful. I don't know if lichy eye bullets needs a nerf or if it's good the way it is, but my good god. Having every synergy with the op, because the thing is, the op does a lot of damage. You got the effect of the, of the scope, giving it the effect of rotating five times for a damage upgrade that stacks. You have the damage upgrade from Muscle Relaxant built in, and then you get the damage upgrade from its other synergies as well. Combined, it's like 900 damage per shot. And then we had the one damage upgrade from Remote Bullets, and it's like, oh, it's doing over a thousand damage per shot. There it is. That's it. That's it. We've done it. Why do I call it Lichy Eye Bullets and not Lich's Eye Bullets? Because I forgot that's what it was called. Because <laughs> I don't know, I've only looked at it like twice on the Ammonomicon. I just misread it, I suppose. But in any case, hey, good run. Flawless the Lich using one, two, using six shots, I think. That's pretty good. And uh, it's a good run. I mean, any run where you get Lichy Eye Bullets, Lich's Eye Bullets <laughs> that early is, is going to be a good run, and we had some good guns to go along with it. 
Evolver gun, pretty damn good. Um, oiled cylinder, I really like getting oiled cylinder on any run because of the reload speed upgrade is incredibly nice. Multiple different accuracy upgrades and just good synergies. And again, Particulator. We had both Particulator synergies without even needing Lich's eye bullets. Particulator plus laser sight and Particulator plus um, oiled cylinder, which is not really a synergy, but it's kind of like a, a pseudo synergy. A soft synergy, whatever you want to call it, we had it. But for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for one of the live support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.